Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. Today we'll discuss about the development of custom report. So first of all, let's understand why we need to develop custom report because SAP provided a lot of standard transaction code available to use for different purposes. For example, I can use VA05 or VA05N to list out all the open orders. Right? VA05 or VA05N. And if I want to see the list of incomplete sales orders, so wherever we see in the order incompletion log, and if I want to display those orders means, then what I can do, I can simply go to the T code V.02. So in V.02, we can display the list of uh, incomplete sales orders. Similar way, we can use V.03 for incomplete enquiries and V.04 for quotation and V.05 for scheduling agreement and V.06 for incomplete contracts. So V.04. Right, so we have different reports are available and if we want to check the incomplete orders where we have expected price error is there, then we should use the transaction code V.25. So this transaction code will be used to display the list of orders where there is an incomplete log in the order. The reason here is that customer expected price is missing. We know that, right? Whenever the customer expected price, the EDI1 pricing condition type is um, missing or it is incorrectly, the wrong value is there in that order, then we can see those kind of orders here in V.25. Similar way, if we want to remove the billing blocks, then we can go with V.23. And if we want to remove the delivery blocks, like this also, we have so many T codes are available. Like uh, I think V.14, I remember. Yeah, V.14, we can see the list of orders which is blocked for deliveries. So, like this, we have so many reports are available. And uh, if you want to see the list of sales orders or deliveries which is due for billing then I can simply use the T code VF04 so VF04 is the billing due list that means here we can see the list of transactions which is uh, waiting for to be billed invoiced and uh, similar way VL04 which is that uh, open orders which are waiting to be delivered right like this we have so many different different transaction codes are available right here came the requirement from business okay standard sap provides a n number of reports and that include information on the specific phases of the order life cycle right if you take the order life cycle inquiry quotation then sales order a delivery in delivery we have picking pgi right then the billing will happen and in case of sto scenarios okay in case of sto intercompany scenarios purchase order will be created then delivery will be created for that po then intercompany invoice will be created and in case of in a standard intercompany scenarios like order delivery then f2 invoice then intercompany invoice for safe delivery right so like this we have different flows happening for an order cycle, right? If I want to see everything in one, one screen, like I want to see the order number, right? And I want to see the sales area for that order and uh, when the order was created and who is the sold to customer in that order. And if you want to see that uh, sales order item details, how many items are there, what are the material number, What's the quantity that has been ordered? What's the base EOM? What's the quantity? And uh, any delivery block or a billing block are there on that order? 
and if you want is the delivery created for the order or not and invoice created for the order or not so entire cycle from order to invoice everything will be in the one report so this is the requirement of business they want to see a to z information from order till invoice in one report one custom report there is no standard report available to fulfill this requirement right so for example they want to display the sales area data sales document type sales document category right created on created by and sold to customer shipped to customer payer everything everything in one report they want to see from till order to invoice okay so for this i have developed one report in the system in the test system in my system basically okay so let me run the report now i am going to sc38 and giving the program name here and executing this one you see this is the cell, this is the screen initial screen in other words we can call it as a selection screen in selection screen i need to input the data if i want to display the data according to the sales area so i will give sales area jca1 and uh, distribution 01 and division also 01 so if i execute now system will display all the sales orders relevant for this sales area wise execute you see i can see all the data like sales document when it was created and who created this one and sales document type and again we see sales area information here and the reference document here right item material item category so we can see so many information here as of now i built this report with minimal field only but in the real project we need to have more than 200 field here till it will display all the data delivery block billing block sold to customer ship to payer if delivery block is there at the order or the delivery block has been applied similar thing will billing block and we need to display the price also what's the base price for that item right everything will be displaying there right this is a big report in any any project which will display the data from a to z and uh, if i give sold to party here then it will display the data according to sold to, sold to party wise and uh, if if i want to see the data according to sales document type i can see the data here right so like this we have different field here to filter the data and display the data see billing type wise we can see that invoicing data from order to invoice we can see if i give the billing type here system will try to fetch the invoice number and the reference for that invoice is order or delivery everything we can see in the report and if i want to see the data plant wise everything also possible here right everything is written inside this report right so now let's see what's the basic code that i have added here let's display the code so i have declared the selection parameters here then i am getting the data from different tables right and finally so remember this function models one here is that reuse alv field catalog match this is the one of the function model which will be used to prepare the field catalogs then we should use the function model reuse alv grid display this function model will be used to display the data if i execute this report and if i enter the sales area information and execute we are getting some data here right this data getting displayed like this by based on this function model only remember this important function model it purely abap only but still there is nothing wrong learning from functional point, point of view it will be good for our career so this is the function model we are using here and the main important thing in this report is that authority check see whenever we develop any custom report we should provide we should create a t code for this report right because we need to provide t code access to this report we can't give this report as it is to business business 
might not have access to transaction code SE38. Only support team or functional team will have access to SE38. Even uh, for functional team also, support team or functional team can't access SE38 in production. But in quality, they can access it. But business can't access SE38 in both quality and production. Because SE38 is an ABAP workbench uh, uh, editor basically where they can develop the programs, right? So this T code access can't be given to the business in both quality and production. To avoid this, we need to develop one custom T code for this report. Okay. After developing this custom T code, that T code should be given to security team. Right? The security team will try to assign the roles. Before assigning the roles to that uh, T code, security will ask for the authority object. Okay, so the roles will be assigned based on the object only, authority object, right? So that's why in the report we should define the authority object, authorization object, authority object. So in this case, we are using the v underscore vbak underscore vkvo. If we want to validate the authorization check based on sales array means, we can simply go with this, or else. We can use the v underscore vbrk instead of vbak we can go ahead with vbrk also okay ABAP team will ask this uh, question to us whenever they develop a new report like uh, which object they should use if they don't know we should provide it to them right these are the key things that we should keep in mind when we develop the new uh, custom report so whatever see whatever we see the parameters inside this initial screen that will be provided by business only so business should uh, let us know which field should be displayed in the initial screen and based on which they want to see the result data and if you see here the first three fields sales organization distribution channel and division all are mandatory you see there's a tick mark here if the tick mark is there means we should definitely enter some input here if without input I can't see the data okay so so far i am giving the sales arc distribution channel and division then executing the report so now the report will display the data according to the sales area suppose i want the entire data in the system then what i will do i will simply add star in sales arc field and distribution channel also star division also star now i will execute this report the star means system will try to retrieve all the data from system execute you see we see all the data for all the sales areas if i scroll down i can see all the data Fine, this is the important thing that we should keep in mind when we develop the new custom report. Hope this video will be very helpful to you friends. We'll meet in the next video. Thanks everyone. Bye for now.